Okay, good morning folks, how are we? I hope you're all keeping well. Guys, what we're going to be doing today is Bums Comes Class, okay? So for those who don't know me, Jody's my name, I'm going to be your instructor. We're going to be doing a number of lower body exercises and core exercises. It's going to incorporate our step, some of our equipment. So if you've got a dumbbell at home, a kettlebell, a plate, even a heavy, large heavy water bottle, you can use that as your resistance or as your weight today when we do any of those exercises that it has the additional resistance. Otherwise, it's going to be body weight, and your step. Now, if you don't have a step at home, it's fine. Some of the exercises you can still do from the floor, okay? The step just adds a little bit more intensity, extra bit of a, of a challenge. Um, I don't have a step at home personally, so what I normally use is I use my bottom step and my stairs, or couch. Very simple. The higher the step, the harder it's going to be. Whatever you do use, make sure it's stable, safe, and secure, okay? We don't want you falling off a stack of books or anything, all right? Now, that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to get started, at any stage throughout this class, if you feel that you need to take a break, that's no problem, just take a breather, pause the video, jump back in when you're ready, make sure you got some water on hand. We're going to start off doing 40 seconds of work with 10 seconds of recovery. We've got 20 rounds of exercise to get through first, okay, before we do any major core work, all right? So we're going to be focused on glutes, hamstrings, quads, the whole shebang to start. Let's get ourselves ready, start this music off. All right, let's get ready. Now, I hope you can all hear that. So. We're going to keep it nice and steady, start two feet together, we take a wide step out and squat. And we're just going to keep that going back and forth, big wide stance, squat, two feet come together, big wide stance, squat, two feet together. Nice and steady, nice and controlled. You got it, good. Good start, so far so good. So we're going to stay with the squats again. What we're going to do is do a standard squat. It's going to bring a bit more urgency, but feet shoulder apart. Gently down, gently up. Control. Good, doing really well, guys. Again, the whole time, we're going to keep feet flat to the floor. So as you drop down, make sure both heels stay flat to the floor. If your heels are starting to lift, generally means you need a wider stance, much more stable base. So again, take your time, control. Gently down, gently up. You got it, keep it going, nice and steady. Super. Okay, all right, so change up a little bit. We're gonna add in heel lift, okay? So as we come down in the squat, we get down nice and low, but when we come up, we wanna lift the heels. We drop down low, as you come up top, lift, heels come in, and then we go back down. Now, if needs be, if you see that that's a little bit tough and you need a bit of support, use the wall, get close to the wall. Make sure you're close enough so that you can still drop into your squat, but as you come up, you can lean into the wall, get those heels off the floor. The focus is pushing as high as you can, getting a good contraction in the pass, gently lowering down. A few more seconds, just keep it going. Get down nice and low, come up top, lift those heels, feel that squeeze in the calves, come back down. Nice and easy. Up, up, up. Excellent. All right, shake the legs out. So far, so good. If you've got a plate nearby, guys, a dumbbell or a kettlebell, I'm going to get you to pick it up. From here, keep it close to your body. Squat, lift overhead. You come down into the squat, and we lift overhead. Get down nice and deep, keep it close to the body, big drive. Nice and controlled. Good. So far, so good. So again, obviously, the more weight you're lifting, the harder this is going to be. And the faster you go, the more intense it's going to become. Super work. Shake the legs out, nice and steady. So far, so good. We're going to bring the core in a bit more. So what we're going to do here is, when we drop in the squat, we're going to push the plate from the body. 
So steady. You drop deep. Push the plate away from your body. Come back up. Keep your feet flat to the floor. Gently drop down. Push the plate from the body. Back up. Now here's a tip. The more power you push with, the more it's going to engage the abs. Okay? So if you push with a bit more power, it's going to feel a little bit more intense here. Nice and steady. Nice control. And again, the heavier the resistance, the tougher it's going to be. When you do push, keep those arms nice and straight. Okay, we're going to use our step next. So what we're going to do is step on, left leg on, right leg back. Very simple. We just step up, leg is behind, we drop down. That's all we got to do for the first couple of reps. That's it. Keep this going. Nice and controlled. Good. Excellent. We shoot up, working our front leg, and down. Okay, step down, shift the legs out, change your sides. So the key here guys is keep one leg up front, put this flat to the platform. What we're doing is working the quads on this side, we're shooting up and down. Nice and steady. Good, just keep it up. And it doesn't have to be super fast, it doesn't have to be super, super high. Just bear in mind, the higher the step that you use, the harder it's going to be, okay? Stay with that same move, we're just going to modify it a little bit, okay? So what we're going to do is, again, we're going to step up. As we step, kick to the side, center, and then down. Okay, here we go. So, we step up, kick to the side, center, down. Control. Up, kick, and down. The idea here is to work the hip flexor. So we come up, we kick out, go to the center, and we're down. Nice and easy. Up, kick, center, down. It's good. That's it, you got it. Ten sides, take your time. You step up, kick out, center, we're down. Work that hip flexor, let's go. Up, kick, and we're down. So take your time and slow it if you have to, okay? Get the stand first, get that single leg lift up, and kick that leg up as far as you can, center, down. Nice and steady, nice and controlled. You got it. Good, good, keep it going. Leg up, in, out. Now, that initial lift up may be challenging enough yet. If it is, just keep that going. Don't worry about the side leg yet. Good. Keep it going, we got a few more seconds, we'll change the move. Okay, a little bit of lunge work. So have your mat ready if you need it. We're going to step back into that lunge position, drop the knee down, and up. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep going up and down, nice and easy. On the lunge, you want to keep your body nice and straight, or as much as you can, okay? You will naturally want to lean forward, that's fine, but don't go too far forward or put too much pressure on the front leg. Ideally, with the front leg on the lunge, you want to keep a straight line from ankle to knee. If you've got a short step, your heel is going to lift from the floor, so you want to avoid that. So again, up, nice and steady, control. Take your time. Super work. Upper body as straight as possible. Knee goes down, gently up. Change the leg, let's get ready. 
Come for a fence. That's good. Nice and steady. Again, we want to make sure that, that knee goes down nice and low, nice and controlled, without hitting the floor, up the body is nice and straight. Can't put the hands out to the side for balance of the knee. Go control. Excellent. A few more seconds, guys, then we're switching. We're going to bring a plate in. Okay, so we're going to drop one knee to the floor, one leg goes forward in that lunge position, okay? We're going to take your plate. What we're going to do is from here, we're going to rotate out. Up the body straight. Rotate out as far as you can, working the obliques on that side. The key here is to try and keep the arms as straight as possible and rotate towards the leg in front. That's going to give you a bit more stability. If you try and rotate to the opposite side, most likely you're going to lose coordination and balance. Take your time, control it. Up the body straight. Rotate as far as you can, back to the center. Same again, nice and steady. A few seconds we change leg. Off the body straight. This can be done without the pull, guys. So again, you can rotate as far as your body allows. Gently back to the center. We'll keep your upper body as straight as possible. A couple of seconds we change leg. Here we go. Opposite knee down, opposite leg goes forward. Take your weight, your plate, your book, your heavy water bottle, whatever you've got at home. Rotate. Back to the center. Rotate, back to the center. You got it. A few more seconds. Keep it going. Excellent, excellent. So again, that's important. The position of the plate is important. If your hands are too low as you're doing it, it won't be the same intensity. We want to get upper body nice and straight. Big rotation as far as you can. Back to the center, okay? Excellent. Nice and easy. A few more seconds. We change the move. Come on. Keep it going. Seconds on the clock. Fantastic. Keep it going, guys. Okay, so we're going to come onto the floor to the glute bridge. Keep the focus on the glutes. We're going to lie flat on the mat, hands out to the side, knee, feet flat. Slowly, lift through the hips. And you back down, easy. So you can make that a little bit tougher by having a weight on your pelvis, okay? What we're going to do is try and go for a single lift now. So we're going to take a right leg over onto the left knee. And lift. We do that single lift, squeeze and hold, gently come back down. So we're trying to put the focus on a single glute now. Lift and hold, gently down. If that becomes too much, go back to your double. Otherwise, if you stay with the single, try and get as much height as you can. And if you're limited on how high you can go, that's fine. Go as far as possible for today, and we'll try and push it a bit more the next day. Nice and thin. Lift, 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 and down. Keep it going. We've got a few seconds before we change sides. Take your time. Remember what we said at the start of class. Rest when you feel it's necessary. Okay, take a breather when you need to. Pause the video if you have to. Change in sides. Get ready. We're going to reset. We're going to take the left leg over onto the right knee. Take the hands out to the sides, ready to lift. Lift through the hips, hold, gently come back down. And again, we lift through the hips, hold, slowly drop down, nice and easy. Good, Just keep that going. We're going to get that nice high lift. Remember, if you become too much, both feet go to the floor, we go back to our standard glute bridge, lifting the hips high. Big deep squeezing the glutes, lower back down. A few seconds on the clock, you got this, come on, come on, keep going.
Okay, we're going to come on to the side and focus solely on hip flexor. So we're going to keep both feet together. Top leg is going to be doing the work. Nice and slow, nice and steady. Get ready. Slowly, we're going to lift. Gently, we're going to pop back down. That's all you got to do. Nice and steady. This is where we're looking for the work. Squeeze in here. That's it. Nice and easy. Control. Steady. Nice. Good. Good control, guys. Doing really well. Keep it up. Okay, take your time. We're going to come over onto the opposite side. We want to control ourselves. Now easy, gently, we're going to lift as high as we can, fall, do that squeeze, come back down. Nice and steady, nice and controlled. Really well. We got one more guys, nice and steady. All we're going to do from here is Superman pose. I'm going to kick one leg back, change, kick back, change, nice and steady. Alternate left and right. All we got to do is kick back. I want you to imagine you've got a resistance tube attached to your leg. You're trying to kick back with as much force as possible. Gently come forward. You got it. Keep it going. Alternate left and right. Okay, same position. This time, all we're going to do, guys, is we're just going to keep one leg back for 20 seconds. We're going to pulse and then change. Pulse that single leg. Keep going. Alternating. Opposite leg comes up. And where we go. Pulse all the way to the end. Keep that going. Keep the leg nice and straight, and we just pulse up and down. Good. Final few seconds on the clock, guys. Keep it going. Keep pushing. Stay with it. Nice and steady. Keep that leg pulsing. A few seconds on the clock. We're going to change the moves. Keep it up. Excellent. And relax. Good. <laughs> Okay, so far so good guys, that was good. All right, where are we? Okay, so, that's predominantly most of our lower body work done. We gotta focus a little bit more on core now, okay? We do about 25 seconds in exercise, 12 seconds recovery. We're gonna com combination of exercises for upper, lower, obliques, all right? So let's get straight into it, no point hanging about. Let's get one thing straight. You can do this workout. We're gonna start from the floor. Two knees up, we're going to start lower abs. We're going to slowly and steadily extend our leg out. Get ready? And away we go. Extend, extend, slow and steady. Back in, in. Good. Take your time. Extend both legs. Knee comes in, and then in. Okay, let's reset. And back in position. We're gonna keep the focus on the lower abs. What we're gonna do is nice and steady. We're gonna do our butterfly kick. Hands together, legs extended. Butterfly kick. Keep the legs going nice and steady. Keep the legs as straight as you can. Now, if you feel your back starts to arch, 
what you can do is lift the hips before you start, bring your hands in, sit onto your hands as you perform that move, okay, nice and steady. It give you that extra bit of support and stability while you're performing the exercise. Super work. Couple of seconds to change the move. Okay, reset. Same with the lower abs again, we got one more and then we switch to the upper abs. We're going to extend legs and body, slow and steady, double leg lift. Here we go. So again, if your back starts to arch, you can bring those hands under your glutes, sit down, get to that extra bit of stability. Couple of seconds left, just keep it going. All right, moving up to the upper abs. Hands are in front, two feet flat to the floor, knees bent. All we're gonna do here, guys, is gently lift the shoulders up and back. Get ready. So we wanna push the hands towards the ceiling, drop the shoulders back down. Again, keeping the heels close to your body, you wanna make sure that you've got some support and stability. If you're too far away, it's gonna to be too hard to yell. <clears throat> a few seconds, we change the move. And relax. Nice and steady. Okay, get ready, we're switching. From here, we're going to sit forward, keeping the focus on the obliques. We're going to try and tap those heels. Get ready? When we're tapping the heels, the key is to try and get as deep as you can. Once you get down as far as you can, tap, center up. Come on over, tap, center up. Get as low as you can on one side to tap and back over. So take your time, control. The longer you hold it for, the more tense it's going to be on the obliques on either side. Super. Okay, changing the move. Superman pose. From here, two knees down. Right arm going to go forward, left leg goes back. Let's get ready. And switch. Reset, center up, we're changing arm, changing leg, be ready. Hold, keep position. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the elbows down onto the foot, onto the mat. Keep the elbows under shoulders, palms flat, knees back. What we're gonna do is come into our standard plank position. Point your toes onto the floor. Lift the knees up, body in a straight line. We're gonna hold position. Now the key here is keep the body straight. If your hips are too high. You're not going to get any benefit. If you drop your too low, you're going to arch your back and cause stress to your lower back muscle. Keep the body as straight as possible. Doing really well. Just keep it up. A few seconds to switch. We're going to come in for a side plank. Okay. So, side plank position. Bottom knee down for support. Top leg goes down. Elbow under shoulder. Top arm nice and high. And we lift. Get that bottom hip off the floor, use that elbow for support. Try and keep the body as straight as you can. Get ready. Up and hold. Three, six, 
Okay. Push up position, guys. We're going to work on the hill climbers nice and steady. We're going to go slow when you get the knee close to the chest. So, what we do slowly, we go forward, step. We go forward, step. We don't want to go super fast. This you want to take your time when you get the knee close to the chest. You want to shoot that knee as close as you can to your chest. Slowly bring it back, okay? Control, take your time. Push your position is key. Get right way up. Knee goes as far forward as possible. Step, okay? Staying with the same move, we're modifying it slightly. This time we're going to bring the knee out towards the elbow. So push your position. Rotate the hips. Knee comes out. Step, and then we change off the side. Where we go? Rotate, step, center, change. Again, what we're looking to do here is to get the knee out to the side, bring it towards the elbow. Okay. Take your time. Control. We're almost done. A few seconds after the clock. And relax. Take your time. Okay, relax guys, shake the legs out. We're just going to stretch for a little bit. So if you use the wall for support if you need to, shift your body weight to the right leg or left side, either or, grab your ankle, heel in, hold, okay? Nice and steady. That was a good session, guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. So we'll be ramping it up over the coming weeks, making it a little bit more challenged, a little bit harder. We're trying to incorporate some equipment. We're trying to do as much as we can without equipment to accommodate everybody at home. Relax, shake the legs out, nice and steady. We're going to go two feet together. Keep the legs straight as you can, slow and steady. Lean forward, get as low as you can, aim for your toes. Nice deep stretch in those hamstrings. Relax into it. Nice and easy. Gently come up and go with a wider stance. Really important, guys, at the end of the session, especially when you're home, if you've got a bit of extra time, is to go through as many stretches as you can, hold them as long as you possibly can. Nice and easy. Relax. Up. All right, guys, well done. Hope you all enjoyed the class. Have a good day. We'll see you all the same time next week.